it now. You just press send and it shows like this. So the green one will be the ones you sent. When you're finished, this window will close. I will close it now like that. And you will have, when you're finished, you will see this window where you can get a reply from the other person. And you can also send another text message or another reply. And you can also change the SIM card. The conversation, you can change it from one SIM card to another. So this is the conversation is on the secondary SIM card and I can change it to the primary so that whenever I send another text message, it will send from the primary. This is really useful to be able to change from one number to the other. For example, you're traveling, you're, you will have another number for a while temporarily. So it says number change to primary. If I send a message now, it's going to send from the other number. And I can set, and I can set it back to secondary now. And if I set it back to secondary, it doesn't show anything because I didn't send another message. All these messages are in, in the secondary. That's how you select the SIM card when sending messages on your iPhone. You can change the settings for the SIM cards that you have enabled for physical or, physical or eSIM under settings cellular. And here you can disable or enable the SIM cards, the physical SIM card, the eSIM, and also you can add an eSIM if you wanted to. You have all these options. You can add more than one eSIM and I have another video about that. I hope this helps you send messages when you have multiple SIM cards, especially for while traveling. It works the same way for phone calls. You select the SIM card label, you give it the label, and then you can select it easily. And I, whenever you have to choose the phone number, you will have a small label and you can change it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.